Hi guys, in today's lecture we are going to study how we can add a plugin to our system. So uh, basically what we are going to do we're adding a date picker plugin to our system. Uh, we will be adding two fields to our system. One will be a sale start date and other is sale end date. Now to add these two fields to our system, uh, let's go to database and in products table let me add two fields and it should be after product end date okay sale start date sale end date and it should be date time uh, yes this is also date time and it can be null because it might that in the beginning we don't provide the value so we have made changes next I want to make changes to our products model what I'm going to do I want to add let me copy the name and paste it for the second day as well okay. end it ok so this is saved next ok uh, we can also provide label to them but I am not going to add labels uh, so this is how we made changes to our products model Now if I go to form, uh, I have to add the form fields here, um, but before adding here, let's go and download the plugin. So you have to search for download uh, G2 date picker plugin. Ok, so I'll find this one, uh, Gsoft G2 JUI one I have already installed so I prefer this one you can select any other of your own choice now basically we can install it by two ways one is that you run this command in the terminal and the second is that you copy this line and add this line in the composer.json let me go to the editor open composer.json on the root not front end in root ok so this is composer.json and what I have to add uh, that copy this and add it to the require section so require section let me show you this is require section so you can just add a comma and next you can add you can add here but uh, since I am not doing it this way I am just installing it with the help of terminals I am not pasting it here but if you want to do it uh, this way you can copy it there paste it there sorry and just uh, run the composer update command uh, but I want to I prefer this way so let me copy the command and let me go to my web root directory ecart ok now I can paste it here enter so it will take a while to download ok so it has been completed another thing to install or update the message is because uh, I have already downloaded it but I just uh, run the command uh, for your understanding 
so it is not installing anything it is already installed on my system next uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to bottom section and it clearly says if you want to use JUI widget in an active form since we are using active form so we have to copy this line let me copy it and what I'm going to do I have to go to my form so in products forms and I want to add it here paste and I want to paste it again now I have to provide the attribute name uh, I can copy it from the SQL command sales start date sale end date and it should be end date next I want to provide the date format I can add here hours, minutes and seconds all that is not necessary but uh, I prefer it we can provide it here like this ok I can copy the same format for the end date okay, saved if I go to browser and refresh the page okay so there is an error and the error is date picker not found okay so I have to add the date picker library to our view uh, use date picker sorry date picker enter can okay, I refresh the page here we go. I have select start date, select end date. This is how we can add start date, end date to our system. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel.